Discover Atari. Atari! And discover how far you can go. Working on a Super Mario pinball. That's court, sort of horrific. You know, it, it's a little dirty. Uh, just a hair dirty. You can't can even, see. Can't even tell where I did. <laughs> We're going to have to make this pretty. Wait until you see how nice this looks. But Jason, come on over here. I want you to show you this Tempest. Uh, Jason never played this in the arcade when it came out in 19, 1980. This was a landmark game. Give it a try, Jason. First so nice color vector game ever made. And what a terrific game. There are actually a hundred different waves on this. See the little blue one below Tad at the top in the middle, the high score. That's level one. Now we're on level two. A really beautiful nice piece of equipment. Isn't it nice, Jason? This is a vector monitor, which creates a picture out of dots and lines. It's not a raster monitor. The last game made was, I think, Quantum. Atari's Quantum 1984. And that was the end of the line. It's 30 year old technology. And it looks great. And in your home tonight. But boy, what a terrific game. I have one of these. This is called a cabaret. See how small the cabinet is? They made, I should think, around 2,000 of these. Not many. They made over 25,000 uprights. The serial number on this is 680. So there are not many cabarets. Now, I have my own, too. Um, look inside. I'm going to show you some things. The logic board is quite large with lots of chips for programming. We put a new edge connector on the end here, so the edge connector gets a good solid feel to it. We put new fuse on the bottom, fuse block. We also put a new capacitor from Bob Roberts. They call that the Atari Big Blue, even though it is black. The original one was blue. And if we rebuilt the, the uh, power supply and audio regulator, with new capacitors, also courtesy of Bob Roberts. A cap kit courtesy of Zayden Electronics. He sells not only the cap kit, but he also has the transistors for the outside of the cabinets to make this run great. And of course, we always keep it running as smooth as possible. What a beautiful piece of equipment. All the caps are new. It's running terrific. And uh, we think our customers are going to be very happy. Now, what we did, too, is because of the purple on the control panel, we put dark purple T-molding on it, as you can see right here. The cabinet, the coin door was clean. We may have painted that, so I'm not sure. He's avoiding the spikes. Good. Anyway, good sound, good picture. Beautiful control panel overlay is original. Oh, little tidbit. The spinner that Jason's spinning there has two bearings in it. They're actually the same bearings used in Bally pinball machines on the flippers. They snap in. You can put new bearings in your game. You can order them from Pinball Resource, Steve. Or you can just put, clean up the whole system, put a drop of lubricant on both sides of the bearings, and you'll get no more squeak. Nothing's worse than something squeaky, is there? Except the mouse that lives here at TNT. He does a lot of squeaking. The other thing is you have to reheat and the optic on that. Look at that look, beautiful little firework oh, show. I beat your high score. You beat Tad. No Todd, no Tad. Very nice. Anyway. Beautiful game. A cabaret. Not many out there, folks. Somebody also said they made side art for these. Um, custom made side art. I haven't looked into it yet. I have an exact same model with also with the purple T molding in my basement. In my game. Room. I think the wood grain looks a lot better than the, than the side art. Yeah. It gives it that little well, extra. I think they have a side art sticker that sticks over the wood grain. But uh, we think our customer is going to be very happy when he gets his Tempest. The panel on the bottom lights up. That's a new bulb in there, too. Anyway, new casters, of course. What do you think? We got everything covered, don't we? Now get back to work! Good night. Have you played Atari today? We're in the Yellow Pages under Amusement.
Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.